welcome and uh, today I wanted to show you um, a few carving techniques. Um, I started carving this walking stick. Um, I've already carved the top and then actually thought it would be nice to make a video of um, the rest of the procedure. So I could teach a few cuts, simple cuts, um, maybe some bark patterning that we could do down on this. Um, this was just found on a walk and it's got a nice V so that we can hold a nice thumb rest. And the height I've cut it to is so that I've got a straight arm so I just trimmed off at the bottom so that it's a nice comfortable comfortable fit. <clears throat> and I'm going to be using this knife today, it's a little Mora um, carving knife. I forget the name, is it? Uh, it's the Eric Frost Mora Sweden and there's two versions, um, I think, uh, they're numbered so one's a 120 and one's a 140 or something I forget what the numbers are, oh, so this is the, there's a longer and a shorter version. Um, that's in there, you see that? There you go. <clears throat> I'm just going to use a small one. Um, I'm doing a small piece, it's got a wide stick. Okay. I um, haven't really thought this through, so I'm just kind of going to wing it. Um, and maybe I'll just go through a few grips and a few cuts and as I'm carving I'll, <clears throat> I'll name them, just call them out. Grips first. So if I got if I'm holding the knife like this and the blade's pointing away from me, I call that forehand grip. And if I turn the blade around and it's blade's facing me, I call that a backhand grip. Forehand and backhand. So that's how I'll I'll name name the different grips. Okay. Um so the first cap we'll start with a forehand grip. I'll take my stick. I haven't actually thought about what I'm how I'm gonna carve it or what I'm gonna carve. I quite like the bark coming down to here. Quite like that ring. Um, so I'm thinking maybe get it in shot for you. Maybe in the in the middle section I might strip some bark here and um, do some patterning on it. Um, let's see how we go. I'll just talk you through as I go. Okay, so. First I'm going to do something called a stop cut, so I've actually got oh, can see the table here? This table here, I'm resting one end on the table, and I'll hold the other end, so I've got one end on my knee. Um, I'm going to cut down here, and do a ring, so I'm going to go round the bark by just pushing down and rocking the knife backwards and uh, side to side, and I just want to get it through the surface of the bark down to the wood. Pushing down this, I uh, don't know if you can see on the camera, but I'm not, I've got no body parts under with, under the blade. Okay, you can do this by resting it on top of a table surface as well. Just bring, bring the camera around so you can see that. Um, how's that? So here, you can rest it on something and you can push down like that. It can be a safer way of doing it. Okay, I've just gone round, so I've gone all the way round. Like that. Okay, so I'm not looking into the camera, I'm actually looking at the screen to make sure you can see what I want to show you. So I'm going to go around like that, and then I'll come down the stick and do the same, do another, another ring. I might actually just do 
to a few rings to start with. So I'm gonna come down about what's it? Inch, inch and a half. And so pushing down and just rocking the blade side to side. Okay. All round. Jump back on my cut. So that cut we call the stop cut. We call it a stop cut. I'll show you now. So when the knife, bring it closer again. So when the knife comes up to a stop cut, what's that? You see? So when the knife comes into a stop cut, what happens is it stops the cut. So we've broken the broken the grain there, so that it just stops like this. We call them stop cuts. So what we're doing is we're cutting the, the grain, the fibres, so the cut just doesn't carry on running down the wood. And we can just come around and work up to that stop cut. So here I'm doing this cut, so it's called a thumb push cut. So I've got my thumb on the back of the blade like this. I'm holding a knife and a four hand grip, so that's the knife pointing away, the blade's pointing away from me. And I'm pushing the back of the blade of my thumb. And I've got my hands, because here my hands are tucked, my fingers are tucked right back here, so that no part of my hand is in front of the blade. And I'm going to come round and push with my thumb into that stop cut. Okay. And then come all the way around. fibers don't come away, fall away, we just recut them. That means the stop cut isn't deep enough. Okay. That's the neighbor's dog chasing a cat. <laughs> Cat's okay, don't worry. Very noisy dog there. Okay. Can I come round? Oh, so, so there, what I've done, i will just to cut this uh, up to the other stop cut I'm just going to flip the stick around and cut into that hope you can hear me over the dog and same again thumb push cut up to that stop cut okay come around and that's now we've put a nice ring ring feature into our bark like that. Okay, I think that's in the barking stop now. Okay, pushing into that. Coming all the way around and stopping. There you go. Can you see that? Do I do that in shot? Okay. Okay, so move you back, you can see. Yeah, so we've put in a nice ring into our bark. Okay. And that was the same technique that we used on the top for the V. Okay. Right, so I might just go down the stick and do a few few cuts like that and then maybe it might be nice to do in the middle of the ring we can do a V cut or a few a little pattern um bring you in again. What was that? <coughs> Let me see. Okay. In fact let's do a little pattern on this one. Okay, so let's Okay, so we'll rest it. 
rest on the table again. Right, for V cut, we can actually do another stop cut. So I might do two, two V cuts. One here, one here. So I'm going to do two stop cuts. Okay, we'll do those first. Again, so this time it's going to be a bit harder because we're going into the wood and not just into the bark. So we're going to push down, turn again, push down, wiggle the knife side to side. Let's move that out of the way. Push down. Work our way around. Okay, that's one done. And the second one. Trying to space them evenly. Okay, so what we're doing now is going to be called a V cut. And again, the stop cuts are done using the forehand grip. Pushing down and wiggling. Uh, I'm probably going a little deep when I go in there, maybe two millimetres, about two millimetres deep, something like that. Okay. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the side of the line, uh, maybe mm, two, two, three millimetres. And I'm going to cut at an angle down into the bottom of that of that stop cut. And again, the stop cut means that the fibres are broken and the wood just pops away. So I can, I'm going to work my way around, doing that down into the bottom of the stop cut. Okay, again if the wood doesn't come away like that, it means you can just go in and push straight down back into your stop cut. So it means the fibres just haven't broken, so you're cutting. Okay. So rather than scratching at it, you want it just to fall out. And if it doesn't fall out, leave it there, go back in and recut that stop cut. Okay. It's gone all the way around. So there's one half of the V done. So I can turn the stick around and come in from the other side. Turn the stick around so I'm not cutting towards my hand or myself. Okay, and I'm going to come around and cut into the bottom. <coughs> into the bottom of that stop cut from the other side. Say so equal distance. From the, from the middle line. Okay, if they don't break away, just really cut them in. Coming around, stopping that cut. I was checking the battery level there, I hope my camera doesn't just suddenly run out on me. Okay. Okay. This is a great beginner cut you can do just with a stick. You can get some really nice patterns going. So this doesn't have to just go round in a circle. You could be get doing a spiral down the wood if you do your whatever line your stop cut follows. So you could spiral it down the wood. You do the same technique. Um, you can. Uh, you can wrap, when you rather than cutting straight edges, you can also curve, uh, roll the edges. Okay, so that's a little V cut in there. Looking quite nice. So I'm going to do the other one, and actually, this middle section, I might even make that a concave shape, so more like a, a rounded kind of ring going around the middle of the stick might be nice. So I'm going to come in and we're going to do the stop cut. <coughs> Sorry, not the stop cut. We're going to come in again at 45 degree angle into the bottom of the other stop cut. So the second ring. Okay. So using the thumb push. Okay. Right, so I don't worry if the bits don't come out. I just tend to leave them there, carry on working around. And at the end, just come in 
and recut recut that stock up. Okay, looking like that now. And now we'll do this. And then we'll put an angle on this side. And we'll turn the stick around. So I'm working away from myself again. So that's something with wood carving, always moving the piece around so that you can get access to the piece you want to carve. So don't always just hold the stick static or keep the work still. You want to be moving the work around so that you, you've got a comfortable cutting position. See how the pieces aren't coming out here, they're kind of staying in there. Okay, so again, they've not come away clean. I'm going to go around and just follow my stop cut line, break those fibres and they'll come away. So that's why they're just hanging on because the fibres have haven't got this cut. Okay, so that's we've got a little little loop around there. Um, and what I can do now, that's quite fasted, so now is time if you want to you can then just gently go over using the thumb cut and just work smaller, take little shavings off and just refine, refine that shape. Okay, and I'm just twisting the wood around in my hand as I go. And with this cut, you can do, you can get quite a lot of patterns going. You can actually, on a nice round stick like this, if you're doing a walking stick, you just, I'm just beginning to refine this side. You can turn the stick around and just start refining the other side. Coming in. And I'm just working tiny, tiny little, tiny pieces here. Turning it as I go, just taking off some of the sharp facets and just softening it up a bit. Uh, all the facets can look quite nice. It's always nice if it's not perfect, it looks handmade, it's got a nice rustic feeling. Um, something like this, like a nice bush crafty kind of walking stick. Um, it's nice to see the work of the knife and the work of the hands. So. I wouldn't go too crazy. Alright, let's see that. Yeah. Okay. Um yeah, so that's one technique I might just round round these corners off just the way the sun's going a bit now, so I'm working a bit in the shade, aren't I? And I was going to soften this edge because actually, I mean, I could have kept that sharp like a V cut. It's actually becoming more of a concave cut now. Kind of just doing it is okay. I haven't got any like, real ideas in my head of how I want it to look. Just kind of <coughs> enjoying the process. Just kind of make it up as I go along, which is a nice, relaxing way to carve. So, I think that's uh, enough for you to kind of start with and experiment with that. Like I said, you can, the stop cuts can be V's, it could be, you could do a cross. Um, so just kind of play around with this technique and see what patterns you can come up with. It's basically, the idea of this is working into a stop cut. Um, you could even use this to you can do a stop cut and create a ball on top of a stick. Um, so, yeah, in the end, I'll just do a stop cut kind of around here. And I could do a V cut here, and then I could actually carve and start shaping the end of the stick. You can make a ball and things like that. Alright, so have fun. Try that out. Remember to keep your body behind the blade. Um, yeah, and I'll make some more videos. Uh, with some other techniques um, for you to try and uh, post them up shortly. So, 
Hope you enjoyed that. Take care and uh, see you soon. Okay. Bye. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, just want to take a moment to let you know uh, we've just bought out a card deck. It's available on Amazon now. It's 48 cards with tons of fun activities. We're very excited about the release of it, so please check that out. And then next week I'll hopefully be doing another video um, where I'll be teaching a different cut technique um, on the same walking stick and uh, we'll go along week by week and I'll work on the stick and teach uh, various cuts so please join us for that. Uh, take care and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.